Today we're diving into a discovery from the Australian gold fields that's been puzzling researchers for over 150 years. We're talking about the Ballarat Gold Nugget chain, a piece of manufactured jewellery found inside a solid gold nugget during the height of the gold rush, raising questions about how modern metalwork ended up embedded in naturally formed gold. Picture this. It's the 1850s, and the Australian gold rush is in full swing. Miners are flocking to Ballarat, Victoria, hoping to strike it rich in one of the world's richest gold fields. Among these fortune seekers are miners who make a discovery that defies explanation. A gold nugget containing what appears to be a manufactured chain link embedded within the natural gold formation. The discovery was made during the early days of the Ballarat Gold Rush when miners were pulling massive nuggets from the ground regularly. But this particular nugget was different. When it was broken open or examined closely, it revealed what looked like a small section of manufactured chain completely enclosed within the natural gold matrix. Now, let me explain why this discovery seemed so impossible to the miners who found it. Gold nuggets form through natural geological processes that take thousands or even millions of years. Groundwater carrying dissolved gold slowly deposits the metal in cracks and crevices in rock formations. This process creates the irregular natural shapes we associate with gold nuggets. For a manufactured object to be found inside a naturally formed nugget, it would have had to be present during the gold formation process. But the chain link appeared to be made with manufacturing techniques that were contemporary with the 1850s mining period, not ancient enough to have been present during natural gold formation. The miners who found the chain containing nugget were amazed by the discovery. Here was what appeared to be clear evidence of modern manufacturing embedded in natural gold that should have taken millennia to form. The implications seem staggering. Either the gold had formed much more recently than anyone believed, or somehow a manufactured chain had become incorporated into the nugget through unknown processes. Word of the discovery spread throughout the mining community and eventually reached the attention of researchers and collectors interested in unusual geological formations. The nugget with its embedded chain became something of a curiosity, though detailed scientific analysis was limited by the technology available in the 1850s. But as with many out-of-place artifact claims, the Ballarat chain discovery raises more questions than it answers. The most obvious issue is the lack of detailed documentation from the original discovery. Most of what we know about the find comes from second-hand accounts and stories passed down through the mining community. Unlike modern archaeological discoveries, there was no systematic documentation of where exactly the nugget was found, what geological context it came from, or how the chain was positioned within the gold matrix. The miners were focused on extracting valuable gold, not on scientific analysis of unusual finds. This lack of documentation makes it extremely difficult to evaluate the authenticity of the discovery. Could the chain have been accidentally incorporated into the nugget through the mining or processing activities? Could there have been contamination from modern materials during extraction or handling? Gold nuggets found in alluvial deposits, areas where gold has been concentrated by water action, can sometimes incorporate foreign materials that were present in the environment during formation. Pieces of rock, other minerals, and even organic materials can become enclosed in gold as it accumulates in stream beds and underground formations. But manufactured metal objects present a different challenge. For a chain link to become naturally incorporated into a gold nugget, it would need to be present in the environment during the gold formation process. This seems highly unlikely given the apparent modernity of the metalwork. Another possibility is that the chain was introduced during mining or processing activities. Gold mining in the 1850s involved considerable physical processing, crushing, washing, and chemical treatment of ore-bearing rock. It's conceivable that a chain or piece of jewelry could have become accidentally incorporated into gold during these processes. The story of the Ballarat chain also reflects broader patterns in how unusual discoveries are reported and remembered. During the excitement of a gold rush, stories tend to grow in the telling. A unusual but explainable discovery might become more mysterious and significant as it passes from person to person. Mining communities are also particularly susceptible to stories about unusual finds. The hope of discovering something valuable or extraordinary 
drives people to pay close attention to anything that seems out of the ordinary. In this environment, natural curiosities can easily become legendary discoveries. The lack of physical evidence makes it impossible to definitively evaluate the Ballarat chain claim. Unlike some out-of-place artifacts that can be examined with modern analytical techniques, the original nugget appears to have been lost or destroyed long ago. This highlights one of the major challenges in evaluating historical anomalous discoveries. Many of the most intriguing claims come from periods when scientific documentation was limited or non-existent. By the time modern analytical techniques become available, the physical evidence has often disappeared. The Ballarat chain story also illustrates how industrial activities can create apparent anomalies that seem to challenge our understanding of natural processes. Mining operations in particular involve moving massive amounts of earth and processing materials in ways that can create unusual formations or apparent artifacts. This doesn't necessarily mean that all unusual mining discoveries are explainable through industrial contamination, but it does suggest that we need to be particularly careful about evaluating claims that emerge from active mining operations, especially when documentation is limited. The case also raises questions about the formation rates of geological processes. While we generally think of gold nugget formation as taking thousands of years, could there be circumstances where gold accumulation happens much more rapidly? Could environmental factors during the gold rush period have accelerated natural processes in unexpected ways? Modern geology recognizes that some natural processes can occur much more rapidly than previously believed. Under the right conditions, mineral formation, erosion, and other geological processes can happen in decades or centuries rather than millennia. However, the formation of substantial gold nuggets still appears to require considerable time under known geological conditions. The temperatures, pressures, and chemical processes involved in natural gold concentration don't seem compatible with the rapid formation that would be necessary for the Ballarat chain story to be explained through accelerated natural processes. The Ballarat Gold Nugget Chain remains an intriguing but unverifiable story from Australia's mining history. Like many tales from the Gold Rush era, it captures the sense of excitement and possibility that drove thousands of people to seek their fortunes in remote locations. Whether the chain represents a genuine anomaly, a case of industrial contamination, or simply a story that grew in the telling, it reminds us of the importance of careful documentation and scientific analysis when evaluating unusual discoveries. The story also highlights the challenges faced by researchers trying to understand anomalous claims from historical periods when scientific methodology was less rigorous than today. Without physical evidence or detailed documentation, we're left with stories that are intriguing but ultimately impossible to verify. The Ballarat chain teaches us to approach historical anomaly claims with both curiosity and caution. While we shouldn't dismiss unusual discoveries simply because they don't fit our expectations, we also need to recognize the limitations of evidence that comes to us through informal channels and second-hand accounts. The next time you encounter claims about impossible artifacts or mysterious discoveries from historical periods, remember the Ballarat chain. Ask about documentation, physical evidence, and alternative explanations. But also remember that the absence of definitive proof doesn't necessarily mean that unusual discoveries didn't occur. What do you think about the Ballarat gold nugget chain? Could it represent genuine evidence of anomalous processes? Or is there a more conventional explanation for this mining mystery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this exploration of one of Australia's most puzzling mining discoveries, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. We've got more stories about the mysterious artifacts and unexplained finds that challenge our understanding of history and geology. Remember, the most interesting mysteries are often the ones that resist easy answers and force us to think carefully about how we evaluate unusual claims and evidence.